What is going on folks welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today i'm going to be fishing a spot that i have not fished in quite some time i haven't fished it because it used to be very highly pressured i don't know about now i haven't fished it in a few months so we'll see if we can make something happen i used to fish this spot back in the time on my first videos but i haven't fished it since then i haven't filmed a video here in quite some time like i said i have no idea how it looks like right now if there's even bass willing to eat at the moment if it's been pressured i have no idea if we can catch a fish today we'll try and make it happen let's get to it all right everybody so i've made it to the first spot of the day like i said i have not fished here in months it's been a while i think the last video i filmed here was the creek mission video where i walked down this creek to see if i can catch any fish and i ended up catching like two or three fish not too sure water is very murky it's not too clear starting off with a black and blue craw it's a rage rage tail rage craw i don't know what you call them i used to fish this spot all the time and i would always catch fish but started getting pressured and Kind of just went downhill so we'll see if that changed today i have caught big fish here so this can be a pretty good spot but we'll test it out today one thing i also learned when fishing here you got to really set the hook because there's a lot of thick cover and stuff and these fish will take your bait in it so you have to really make sure you set the hook really hard well not really hard but decently hard because you don't want to have slack in your line that's a fish oh my gosh first bite of the day i don't know if y'all can see that but y'all probably couldn't have my lily pad the, my lily pads the lily pads were just i waited for him to eat it he was taking it oh my gosh got one first fish of the day gone i got that on camera did y'all see that blow up it like came off the pad and the fish is that was insane. Oh man, was that the third bite of the day? Take it, bud. First fish of the day. No, oh, oh, I lost him. Small fish on the Cinco. So salty, I'm so, so freaking salty. I've been twitching it off the bottom. I got my line out of the pads and I was kind of just twitching it like this and he murked it. I had him for a split second. I'm really gonna try and catch a fish today, a bass specifically. I don't wanna catch bugo or anything else. I wanna catch a bass. Speaking of bass. Oh my god, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. This thing goes putting in work. He's got me wrapped around the pads. Get out of there, bud. Got him out. More pads. Get in here, buddy. Heck yes, finally. We land one. Not a giant. But I'll take them. Literally, as I was saying, I want to catch a bass, not a bluegill. Little bass right there. Let's freaking go. Got a few bites on the crack and craw. Couldn't make it happen. Tied on the Cinco. I have not caught a fish on a Cinco in quite some time. And this fish inhaled it. I guess these fish are kind of more finicky. And they, they don't want a big presentation. So I kind of just made it smaller. And this little guy came out. I'll take it. First bass of the day. Back in the water he goes. Put up a fight. I don't know if y'all can hear my drag or my reel just just there in the beginning. That's a good sound effect right there. First fish of the day. Let's freaking go. I'm gonna keep grinding. Currently 142. And I have about till five to see if I can land another fish. I have not caught a fish here in a while. It's been a minute. All right, so just to give you a perspective, the last time I caught a fish in this specific area, I was walking down this creek four months ago. Four months ago since I've caught a fish here. Just a few tips for y'all. Never use when you're fishing thick cover like this. This is mainly what the video is about, fishing thick cover. Like this is really thick pads, thick grass, things along those lines. What you want to use is Texas rigged baits, Cinco's that get through the pads and all that pretty easily craws are also pretty good but it's kind of hard for those bigger baits to get through this thick cover so you want to use a bullet weight um ideally because it's sharp and it kind of penetrates through all that thick stuff and those fish are going to be at the bottom of all that thick stuff as you can tell 
I cast it back there in those pads, way back there, and he just murked it. I like to use a peg because it keeps the weight and the bait together, and they both go down instead of just the weight going into the thick cover. So that's a few tips for y'all if y'all are fishing thick pads. Another tip, which I don't really like to do, I hate using braid, but using braid is a pretty good idea when fishing thick cover because, as you saw, even though that fish was not huge, he had me wrapped up right here, and it took a lot of strength and force on this line to get that fish out of there. You could use braid. That line is really good for fishing thick stuff but i like to use fluorocarbon i just i hate using braid i'm pretty stubborn uh, when it comes to that stuff but i just like using fluorocarbon all right so i switched up to watermelon red cinco my other one was getting torn up pretty bad i only have one more of the same color but i want to try this out the water is very murky it's not clear at all so i don't know how this natural color is going to do in this situation but i'll give it a shot either way that creek mission video that i did two months ago the fish were absolutely slaying the Cinco, so we'll give it a shot, see if we can make something happen. I don't know if there's some rain coming in, but a ton of clouds came in. Oh, I'm getting marked again. Take it, bud. Second fish of the day, right there. Get in here, buddy. Heck yes. Two fish already. And I still have time to fish. Heck yeah. Right when I threw this watermelon red Cinco. Would you look at that? I didn't think I was going to make it happen today, to be honest. They're all dinks, but I'll take it. I'll take it. That fish is very dark. Beautiful fish right there. Oh my gosh, that is a healthy bass, if you ask me. Little dink. First cast with the watermelon red. As I was explaining, I was doubting myself that that bait was gonna work instantly first cast wow we're making it happen today guys it's good to see that this place is coming back to life getting more bites it's not as trash it's a little more clean than it was before I'm assuming the owner is kind of getting a little more strict as to who fishes here I have permission to fish here but I'm sure he's kind of getting fed up with all the fishing line that's accumulating around here because he said it gets caught up in weed eaters and stuff guys if you fish like private property or somebody else's property and you're allowed to fish there like they give you permission don't trash the place don't take advantage of it uh, always clean up after yourself but got in quite a few bites landed two fish i'm going to keep grinding so that i can land one more these think is getting it done is that another bite that is another bite oh, third fish of the day another dink i'll take it i'm letting them really eat it now because i'm just landing dinks smallest fish of the day right there I'll take it though. We're landing fish. That's all that matters. Back in the water he goes. Watermelon red seems to be the move. I'm landing fish. That was literally a cast right after. All right, everyone, that is going to effectively end today's video. Not a bad day. I caught three fish in total, if I'm not mistaken. After that last fish, I could not land another fish for about another hour or so. The bite here turns on and then it just turns off automatically. I don't know what it is, but usually I can go hours without getting another bite and then it'll just turn on again and fish will start feeding. It's kind of weird at this spot, but it was cool to see the spot where I once wanted to start making YouTube videos. I wanted to start making videos at this exact spot, fishing videos. I had filmed a few clips, but I never had the courage to upload them. But here we are uploading videos. We're almost to 100 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. Help me get to that 100 subscriber mark. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button and leave any comments down below for any suggestions that y'all may have for future videos. But with that being said, I'll catch y'all next time on JJ Fishes.